Yo, bro. Yeah, nah, man just got back to my yard now, blood. Bro. Like, I know it's going to sound hypocritical, but bad man not watching a podcast, pussy, come off my phone. Yo, listen. Podcast people. First of all, good evening. I'm on such a pump, I even say good evening to my guests in the living room tonight. Hello. I hope you're okay. Are you okay? I'm not okay. Why am I not okay? Because every time I go on my phone or open up my YouTube or my PlayStation, podcast, 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 everywhere is podcast. Come into the living room to speak to the people. My brethren on the phone talking about, rah, you watch the podcast. People, listen, I understand it's social media and everybody's got something to say. Everybody's views. Every I want this, the title of this episode is everybody's views matter. I'm on an all lives matter thing when it comes to opinion. But shut the fuck up now though, please. It's too much. We got 75 podcasts speaking about same thing. I get it. You lot know Lippy through podcasts. How can I chat shit about podcasts? My fridge is empty. I was about to say my fridge won't be empty if it weren't for, for, I got cheese in there. If I didn't do podcasts, I probably wouldn't have no cheese in my fridge. And I wouldn't, you get me, when I borrow bread from my neighbour, I just, it wouldn't be cheese on toast, it'd just be toast. But because of podcasts, it could be cheese on toast, so big up the podcast then. But, shut the fuck up, please, we got Twitter. With most men that got podcasts, you're on social media anyway, saying your views. So why you gotta go on camera and say them as well? I, I really need to know. That's why man do living room, I just set up the camera in my yard and just chat some shit sometimes, because shit is too serious out here, man. You got... Man telling their life story on seven different podcasts and the life story changes, bro. On on the podcast with the gal them, I ain't even gonna I ain't even gonna draw a certain man out. He's he just gonna know I'm talking about. You man are old, stop doing the fucking podcast thing. I'm old. I only speak about certain things. I, I speak about what I believe is necessary. Certain man saying the same jail story on seven different podcasts, allow it, bro. It's too much, fam. Certain man are telling their story on their own podcast, then they're doing it on Instagram story, telling the story again, then they're going on the next podcast and the next post podcast to say the same fucking story. Shut the fuck up. You got certain man that'll sit on podcasts with Gyal in, in Cardigan, chatting shit. You see them on the block, play, oh no, because they're, they're, they're black man, you know. Chatting shit is, I get it, bro. I get that everybody wants to talk. I get that certain man never got to show the world that they're gangsters. So they have to talk about it. Me, I put a do-rag on to cover my hairline even, a dressing gown on to cover my little chicken arms, and I chat my shit. Because I don't believe I have anything else to prove. But certain man pushing 40, 47, is sitting on podcasts chatting shit. Certain gal is sitting on podcasts, chatting shit. I don't even like getting onto gal Twitter because gal are pretty, gal got breasts, gal are better than us, innit? So, I ain't even gonna talk about them too tough. But the man them, bro, is, bro, do a living room, bro. Do a living room, fam. Fuck the podcasting. Everyone do a living room now. Just get a camera, 10 minute episode max, chat your shit and come out of there. Go back to your yard, blood, burn a spliff, car. The whole trying to reinvent your gangster through podcasting, I think, is problematic. Did anyone you see me on a podcast with, they're the proper podcast people, innit? Certain idiots are but unfortunately, but they're the, they're the podcast guys, innit? Everyone else, brother, yo, there's a podcast, yeah? There's a, it's not even a podcast. Man, them telling their sad stories. Oh my God, like, I'm even gonna give no one no promo, but there's a podcast, I like this podcast. It's like, baby fathers go on there, baby fathers go on there, and I'm a baby father. It's so like, I watch it, I watched it, I watched it, Blood, some of the shit, the man them are lying. Man them's lying. That's another thing, bro. We're lying on the podcast, bro. So there's just don't go on there, bro. Don't go on. Man are trying to reinvent themselves. Man are going on there saying how oh, their baby mum cheated on them and re -re -re bro, love letter. Bro, no, bro. Fuck the oversharing of information. I've done it sometimes. I've sat on cer certain podcasts, it's just like, yeah, shit, shit, yeah. And I had diarrhea all week. And it's like, rah, man's just telling everybody that I had runny doo-doo and it's live. Man can't even go back. Man can't even say, yo, yo, edit up. 
You see me? It's just they got the footage. And I think some, of the, some people, you need to have them thoughts. Understand what you're telling a man sometimes. Understand what you're telling a man. I see a certain man sit on the podcast. Yeah, bro, my baby mum cheated on me with seven men. Suck dick, still had things on her lip. Come back, kiss my face, red tail, got herpes. Bro, don't do it, bro. It's dead. Just say a bad thing happened and we will use our imagination for the rest. Like Lippy's living room, I don't tell you certain things. I don't go into certainty. I just say it was a mad thing, got mashed up, I got nicked. Use your imagination. If you want to go all the way to the left, you go there. You want to go all the way to the right, you go there. But if you're giving specific mad things about how your, your wife cheated on you in this restaurant, it's, it's long, bro. You're setting yourself up for failure and you're 37. Ute them. Let's have some podcasts from the Ute them. The Ute them ain't got nothing to say. And when I say podcast, I'm not talking about the thing where you're all sitting in the room and there's three men sitting here and then two men sitting behind. It's like, ah, oh, who drinks the most alcohol? Oh, it's me. No, it's not you. Brother, for real, t- real conversation. But everyone have something to say. Say your thing. Don't let all us old people just be talking about everything, Brexit, all that, whatever. You lot must have things to say, man. There's only so much us old guys could speak about about what we used to do. Another thing, if you got a podcast about something, that don't mean you're an expert on that said thing. But I'm seeing man that can't even sprint, thinking they're football pan- pundits, rude boy. Rude boy, I will chase you myself, and I'm not even fit. And you're sitting there talking about raw. Why is he playing that formation? But sh- shut the fuck up, man. We're fans. We are all fans of life. You get me? If you got a podcast, you you you're not that guy to a certain extent. Hence why you're sitting there talking about it. And I'm not just saying me rubbing you out. I'm one of them people myself. I have a podcast and we talk about things that we're fans of, not things that we're in. Don't get it twisted. There's certain men that used to be in things, so they might be able to speak about it with a little bit more experience. But if you're a podcaster now, you're a podcast. Let's embrace it, bro. I know I just called you lot pricks and I just punched you lot up verbally, but embrace it, though, bro. Don't be a gangster podcaster or a, a, a bad B, I get all the men podcaster because you're not you're on a podcast you're chatting shit you're sitting there you come somewhere paid people to record you they don't even know who the fuck you are cuz we need to be honest nobody asks you certain man sit in the podcast like what's all these cameras doing here i'm just having a conversation with my friend shut the fuck no bro you paid for him you pay you know <laughs> bro please let's have some positive podcasts bro let's have some po- let's have some podcast funny podcast Not every podcast has to be about body count. Not every podcast has to be about who should pay for dating. Not every podcast needs to be about what you think of the drill rappers. Not every podcast needs to be about how you conducted yourself in prison and how certain men should conduct themselves in prison. Let's just move on from certain things. Get a living room. Certain man, 37 years old, and I even have a yard for have living room, but they've got about three podcasts. Get your fucking priorities straight yeah get a living room shut the fuck up stop treating the cameraman like you never paid him to come there and let's end it on a positive note big up all the podcasts that i like i ain't gonna plug any of you can fuck up free promo but there's a lot of good podcasts but unfortunately there's way more shit ones and they need to shut the fuck up why am i not mentioning names because i some, some of the men that do these shit podcasts are strong. I don't want to fight them. What? Just because you're shit at podcasts, it don't mean you can't fight. That's one thing we all learn. That's one thing I learned one day, somehow. And that's for another episode of Lippy's Living Room. If you're thinking of starting a podcast, don't watch the podcast them that are, already exist. And yeah, just just watch them and wait till they're done. Car, everybody, how much how much things have we got to say? How many episodes? Shut the fuck up. There's only certain things you can talk about. Go away. Shut the fuck up. Have a good night, everyone. Lippy's living room.